What is going on guys? My name is Kerry and today I'm going to take you on tour of what's turned out to be our most popular single white layout of 2020. Just last week we received delivery of this 1,056 square foot, two bedroom, two bathroom home and we're almost ready to put it up for sale. This is our third time bringing in this house so far in 2020 and what we did on this one was make some changes based off your feedback and they really take this home to a whole nother level. So if you're considering an open concept single wide, this is definitely one you need to consider and it's not quite finished, but you know what? We're gonna tour it anyway. I have a bunch more home tours coming down the pipe. So if that's something you're interested, definitely subscribe to my channel because there's lots more coming. All right, let's go check it out. All right guys, just pulled into number 56 in Countryside and what I wanna do is spend a little bit of time outside. I'm gonna show you the yard. I'm gonna show you what we've got done and talk about what we've got planned. After that, we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna do a full home tour and talk about the changes we made from the last two and just show you around because this is an amazing single wide floor plan. One of the best available in my opinion. Um, so let's get to it. Here we go. All right, here we are 56 in countryside so we're gonna put a sidewalk in today and then everywhere that's gravel that's up to the front door there everywhere that's gravel right now is gonna have a nice blue rock you've seen it in some of our other homes if you've been on the channel before uh, we've got a 10 by 12 deck off the back door and if you've seen any of my videos in countryside what I love about these lots is the size so there's no one on this side of you and look at how much yard you have out front and then go around back. There's the neighbor there. So we did order turf for this um, topsoiled area over here. But what happened was we got an early snowfall and they had to stop cutting for the year. So that's gonna be something that will have to be done in the spring when they're growing turf again. So look at all the space on the back side of this home. Like I say, these lots here are huge. I've got the nice trees at the front and then you come around. There's the driveway, that's where we started. So it's time to go inside. This house is 16 feet wide by 66 feet long. It's a really open floor plan. You've got bedrooms at either end. So with those dimensions, it ends up being 1,056 square feet. And some of the feedback we got on the last two is not enough counter space. So we added this peninsula coming out. It also adds a little bit of separation from the kitchen and the living room. And then we've got the overhang for bar stools there. So a nice place to sit. People always seem to congregate in the kitchen when they've got guests over. There's the living room, and if it was my place, I would put the TV on this wall here, possibly in the corner, and then have a couch there. And then back over here, a chair with coffee table, and then you've got your dining room back here. So we don't have the power on yet, that's why we're doing this in the somewhat dark today. Once we get this all finished up, which is gonna be probably a few days from now, I'm gonna do a whole tour again outside and inside. You won't see it on the channel for a couple weeks because I've got some other stuff planned, but don't worry, it'll be on here. So another comment I got on the last few was stainless steel appliances. Why don't you have stainless steel appliances? And to answer your question, no reason, we just didn't have them. So we went with the stainless steel. We'll see what people say. I think it looks nice. I do like the white as well, but you know what? With that gray backsplash, this is kind of a sharp look. So hopefully people like it. And then the other thing people always talk about is pantries. So we've added this pantry. This wasn't in the last two we had. And you know what? You cannot have too much storage in a kitchen. So I don't think anyone isn't gonna like this. This is always a welcome addition to any house. Extra storage, especially in the kitchen. So going through here, we've got the laundry room, utility room. That's where the furnace is. 
um, right here, not outside. The furnace is inside the house for the record. And then we've got somewhere to hang your coats when you come in here and behind here, spot for washer dryer with shelving above for your things, your detergents and all that. So then out here, we've got a 10 by 12 deck and there's the mountain view. So tough to beat that view. So going down, we're heading into the main bedroom. And again, it's a good size. We've got this floor running all the way through because we find people don't really care for carpet anymore. If they want carpet, they end up getting an area rug. So off here, we've got the ensuite, and it's gonna be a little dark in here, so this will be one that's gonna be better to look at once we do have the power when I do the final tour. Okay, let's head back. So if you've got kids, you're at this end of the house, or if you expect a lot of guests, you're at one end, and then they've got their own separate end of the house down here on the other end of the living room. So just off the living room, we've got the second bath, tub shower unit, bank of drawers there for all your stuff. And oh, there's the top of the toilet. I should put that on there too. Put your drawers. And there's the toilet with no top. Then the second bedroom. Kids or guests, whichever suits your lifestyle. Nice size. Little bit of a mountain view. Look at that, not bad. So that is the whole place. What I'm gonna do is end this here and then hopefully we get power in the next couple days. But as you can see, this is a very nice open floor plan. That's the first look at number 56 in Countryside. Easy to see why this has been such a popular layout this year. It's one of those homes you just walk into and everything just flows, everything feels right. Everything just seems like it's in the right spot and people just really love it. So uh, what I'll do is once we get power in here, I'll do another tour. We'll go outside, the landscaping will be done and you can get a sense of what this home looks like totally move-in ready with the lights on and we'll really get into it. That won't be for a couple weeks because I do have a lot more planned um, videos coming up. So if you wanna see that, the final tour, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.